Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day in this video. I'm gonna be upgrading the firmware for my Bitmain S19J Pro 104 terahash model here because just recently Bitmain has announced as a little Christmas gift to everybody a firmware update to get more efficiency on your S19s. And apparently that's with almost all of the S19 models out there, S19J Pro, S19 and it sounds like my S19 right now is massively ramping up. The fans are extremely loud right now. Just to show you the power consumption of this guy is taking about almost I would say 3100 watts, 3150 maybe at the wall and it's mining at about 104, 105 terahash which I can verify with you all. Let me just refresh here. It's about 105 terahash after about 24 hours, okay? It's been mining for about a day and an hour thus far. And for anyone, just give you guys an update. I thought I had an issue with this S19 because it was turning off because there was like a, I guess, a power surge error in the error logs. Crypto Miner Bros, thanks to them, they did send me like a new control board. I believe this is a AM Logic board. And then they also sent me a new uh, Beagle Bone board. I don't know if I pronounced that right. I am not proficient at ASIC miners at all, so don't quote me on any of this stuff. But I did do a video, I think it was like a month or two ago, that I opened up my S19J here. All right, just take out the cover. And when we opened it up, we saw one of the PCIe, uh, this one right here, was kind of dislodged. So that is where we kind of just pushed everything in. We pushed in all the cables, especially these ribbon cables going into the uh, ASIC boards and make sure I don't touch that or I might get zapped while this thing is mining. So simply just pushing in and just making sure everything is all plugged in because I did move it from one location to another. So that could have been the culprit as to why this S19 was jolting a bit, having some issues, but it's all good now. Anyways, Bitmain has released a new firmware to have this new low power mode to gain more efficiency. So if you guys wanna do that, I'll have a link down below. It's on the Bitmain website. Make sure you choose the exact S19 model that you have. If there's a drop down menu, you can choose which one you need. And huge disclaimer, okay, make sure you select the right one because some of the older S19 models require you to update to the older firmware and then you can update to the new uh, firmware that gives you the low power mode. So make sure you select the right ASIC miner that you are gonna update the firmware on for your S19. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna update the firmware for my S19 here. So we're just gonna go through the web GUI, which is this part, the firmware upgrade button on the left, and then we're gonna select the downloaded firmware, which I've already downloaded off the Bitmain website. All right, we're gonna open that. And now we're just gonna hopefully keep the same update settings and update. And it says, please wait while the firmware is being upgraded. So I'll just wait for this. We're gonna see how long it takes. All right, so after about, I would say three to five minutes, it has gone back to the web GUI here and it says uh, real-time hash rates abnormal. So I think it's probably gonna start mining at the normal settings. So if I just go back to my settings tab here and uh, looking at the setup, it says normal mode. So this is where I believe where we can change to low power. So I'm gonna try that. Let's just do that and let's hit save and let's see if it's going to take effect so i'm gonna let this run okay after about four minutes five minutes it's hovered around 83 terahash and let me refresh here uh, it says 82 real time 83 average time the past five minutes but the power consumption is about 231 point six 
five volt times 9.1 amps. So if we times both of those together, we're around, I would say 2100 watts. So 2100 watts at about 83 terahash on my S19J Pro 104 terahash model. So what is the efficiency now? So before it was getting about 104 terahash at about 3174 watts. So that is a 30.5 watt per hash. And now at 83 terahash at 2106 watts roughly, we are at 25.3 watts per hash. So that is definitely a lot more efficient and also another good factor, I guess, well, depending, it's winter time right now, so this may not uh, be good for me, but it's, it's definitely a little bit less heat than what we were using before, obviously, from 3,100 watts to 2,100. We've knocked off a good 1,000 watts, and I guess we've knocked off a good, what, 20, 21 terahash? So I, I would say that's pretty good. So 1,000 watts off and about 20 terahash off, yeah. I'm gonna say that's pretty good. That's definitely a lot more efficient. And I guess in the long run, right, you're gonna be paying less for your electric, but we're gonna be earning a little bit less Bitcoin. But overall, right, the amount that you're spending on electric, the amount that you're earning is still gonna win out uh, in the end, right, because of the efficiency that we are now attaining on this Bitmain firmware. Thank you, Bitmain, for releasing something like this for people that have these units. Now, these S19Js or S19s can be competitive against, I guess, the newer models, like the S19 XP 140 terahash, as uh, this can do about 140 terahash at 3000 to 3100 watts. I think mine takes about 3100 watts. And if I do the efficiency calculation here against uh, what we can achieve now, right, the 140 terahash model can do about 22 watts per hash. So going down to 83 terahash, 2100 watts, that's pretty competitive. That's pretty close in terms of efficiency. So that's awesome. That is really awesome. I did check on the Bitmain firmware website to see if there were any, uh, I guess a, a firmware update for low power mode for the XPs. I didn't see anything there, but there is a firmware update there as well. So who knows in the future if the S19 XP is going to get a low power mode in the future, then obviously that could probably get more efficiency than what it can get now. But hey, this is great. Let me know down below if you guys that have an S19J or S19 that you were successful. And uh, for those that had to do the, I guess the preliminary firmware that you had to update on that first and then update to the latest version to get that low power mode. Let me know down below uh, which models that you guys had to do as uh, when you select it in the firmware that it does show that the disclaimers there of downloading the different firmwares before doing that dependent on the model of s19 that you have okay let me just uh let's refresh here and so after about 11 minutes yeah we're hovering around still 83 82 terahash and i guess the temperature is in here around 50 celsius uh, this is in celsius i believe 63 outlet temp which is pretty cold it's it's pretty cold in my new crypto mining basement here. It's negative 10 outside. So yeah, I mean, this is pumping out a good amount of heat. My CK box two is, I don't feel any heat at all because it's really cold in here. So yeah, I mean, will I keep this on low power mode? You know what? I will probably have to put this on the normal mode because I, I need more heat. I need to put output more heat in my new mining location here. And I do have a Inosilicon A10 Pro 750 mega hash model, but right now it's using about 1400 watts, according to my new Eaton PDU. Thanks, Rondi, for this PDU, by the way. And Brian Hollywood, you guys are awesome. I heard that there is a firmware update for the Inosilicon A10s that I could maybe get a lower power mode feature on here as well. I'm not sure if the, I guess the mega hash is gonna drop as well, but I guess this could be also competitive against newer, you know, Ethereum classic ASIC miners, such as you guys know, the Jazz Miner or the uh, Jazz Miner X4Q. You know, these things are really efficient on mining Ethereum classic. So if Bitmain 
can get a firmware update for this in a silicon. Sorry, not Bitmain. I mean in a silicon. Sorry, in a silicon has a firmware update for this that I should really check out. Let me know down below, anyone that has one of these, if you guys can, you know, undervolt these successfully. I've been hearing some rumblings about that recently. Maybe I could get that done, obviously, in, an, in another video. Okay, all right, guys. So let me know if you guys are doing the Bitmain S19 low power mode firmware update for your S19s. And uh, let me know your guys' results down below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one. Peace out.